Yeah. Yeah, totally evil. This is just a totally evil thing that I do on a Friday night by myself alone. In the necrosexual's lair, home alone. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for the fans to come. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello. I'm just gonna wait a few more moments, see if uh, all the fans in Necro Cyberspace join us. Alright. Alright. Alright, so that was my intro. Welcome to One on One with the Grim One Live. From the Necrosexual's Lair, and it is I, your host, the master of disaster, the one, the grim one, slayer of posers, the Necrosexual! Oh, and we are here in the plague, live in my lair. Alright, I'm feeling chatty and going batty. This time, uh, we would have been in Worcester, Massachusetts tonight playing what would have certainly been a crowd of necromaniacs in Ralph's, uh, Ralph's Rock Diner in Worcester, Massachusetts, along with our friends in Basilisk and Haven for Depravity. But, unfortunately, uh, the plague has struck in. How you doing, Mim Grind? And here we are, baby. All right, we're back. Uh, the Depression is in session. All right, am I the only one here? <laughs> so we're here for a corpse paint tutorial. And I know that right now I look like the world's shittiest clown. That's the point. You have to start somewhere. All right, I've started off with the base, the bare essentials. I have a very uh, white, ghastly white base and a little bit around the eyes and a little bit around the mouth, going for a little bit of red. Uh, if you thought I was going to go for a necrosexual unmasked uh, a la kiss in the 80s. I'm, I'm not ready for that type of sellout money yet. Unfortunately, you know, unfortunately uh, the necromania has not reached that commercial level for me to make that sellout money to go completely unmasked. So as you can see here, I already have a nice base of ghastly white and we will be evolving the look. So throughout the evening, we will go from this to this, the transformation. And of course, uh, no necrosexual transmission would be uh, complete without some shameless self-promotion. So this is, of course, my full-length album, Grim One, How You Doing, Morbid Murphy, which is also playing in the background. Hail. Uh, so go listen to it on necrosexual.bandcamp.com. If you like it, it's on Spotify, it's on YouTube. You know me, we're here, baby. We're here all night, all day, doing the corpse entertainment hours in the horror business. Hey, it's Shane Daddy. How you doing from Slashes? All right, we have an audience of four, so I think that's enough uh, to commence this black metal transformation. <laughs> uh, how's everyone faring in the plague, baby? Mm. The way I see it, if I'm going to lose my mind, I'm going to look good while I'm doing it. And this is sort of like the joy of painting with Bob Ross. It's the joy of grimness with a necrosexual. So we have a war metal uh, color palette. We have ghastly white uh we have of course it's war metal so we have some red i've been experimenting with some rocker red and we have of course black um and if you're wondering what type of corpse paint i use um this is uh paradise by meron i had a very nice conversation with twisted at the uh long defunct uh epiphone music awards with revolver and they also use meron um so this is a, a type of water activated paint I actually get it from Frank Frazetta's, Frank Frazetta's son's store in the grimmest place of all, East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. If you're ever up in East Stroudsburg in the Pocono Mountains, hit up Frazetta's uh, costume shop. They have some cool-ass costumes. There's also Frazetta's, uh, you know, the legendary artist. He also has a museum, uh, but his other son has a costume shop, which is where I got my corpse paint. So uh, six degrees of Kevin Bacon in hell, baby, all right? So what we're going to do. Uh, as you can see here, I have this nice uh, AC Moore palette of paintbrushes. And of course, 
I bought a bunch of new brushes, but I still use the same three ones. But hey, it's always good to be prepared for the apocalypse. I have a lot of brushes. So usually, as you can see here, I've already applied the white. Uh, and then from this point on, it's, uh, well, I actually try to work my way up from the light tones to the, uh, the darker tone. So I guess it would be red if we're adding red to the palette uh, with my corpse paint. So we got my red brush right here. And uh, we got my trusty little water cup, so we're going to mix and we're going to match. When it comes to corpse paint, I take a lot of inspiration from the immortal uh, Bob Ross. I've had a lot of happy little accidents. Uh, most of my career actually has been founded on happy little accidents. So, uh, you know, a lot of the time when I get started with the paint, I don't necessarily have a, uh, a very solid idea of what I'm going for. Or I might have a solid half-formed idea, uh, but inevitably I will fuck up. And uh, that game plan goes out the window, and so we have to adapt and survive. So that's where we are now. Uh, and with my current corpse paint look, you know, if you see my videos on YouTube, when I started out, uh, it was very uh, much an homage to what I call basic bitch corpse paint. Uh, so, you know, very uh, immortal influenced or mayhem influenced. But as the necrosexual has evolved, so has my corpse paint. Uh, and now I try to have, it's constantly evolving because I want to do something different and unique and then whenever I find something that I like uh, usually somebody um, rips me off or there's some parallel thinking how you doing Dottie Riot my woman of dark desire um, so I try to evolve and come up with something different uh, so it's a constant work in progress so what I'm doing is I'm adding some red some red dead redemption in hell Ooh. so it's some little happy little accidents what I'm going for in the look tonight is kind of like a mix between uh, uh, Kabuki Japanese Theater and a drag queen. So let's see how that turns out. Do a flip, what do you mean? Okay, anyway. How you doing, sir? Uh, La Drovia, my bass playing comrade. So, come paint with me, baby! <laughs> Um, if you guys have any requests for Kabudrag, um, if you have any, do a flip, what the fuck does that mean? Augmented Ryan, how the hell are you doing, baby? We're just losing our mind. I'm going batty, but I drank some champagne and I'm feeling chatty, so I'm happy for you to join me in my grandmother's base. I mean, in the necrosexual's lair. I apologize for the uh, erectile uh, malfunctions, but we're here. We're going live, so we're adding a little bit of paint. You don't want it to be too symmetrical. We got to have it looking uh, chaotic. So that's sort of what I'm going for right now. I like, I've been experimenting with red. So, how you doing? <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah, we got, got Daddy Riot making a cameo. Hi. From the, get in the shot. Hi. From the, Hi. Uh, straight from the chat room into the real room, do a push up. Necro size is coming later, all right, you pervert. I actually did that. Uh, before, because just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean we're gonna let ourselves go. All right, I got a long time to go uh, between I reach between between yeah, until I reach uh, Vince Neil status. I hope. And also, I did try to sign up for cameo. Uh, so if you would like to request a uh, a curse or a shout out or personalized message to your friends, hit up the necrosexual. These are tough times. I got a new uh, EP to record. If things don't go well, I'm going to have to be giving out heavy metal hand jobs in the alley. Uh, unfortunately, the company Cameo did, did reject me. I was not a, a level of influencer that they had hoped for, which is a damn shame. That is a total poser move, all right, because I think I would give one hell of a better Cameo than Vince Neil. Have you seen that, the Vince Neil Cameo? Uh, but here we are, so I'm recording a new EP and painting my face. While we're in quarantine, baby. Oh, thank you. What's going on, Daddy Ryan? <laughs> it's doing great. Mm -hmm. Doing great. <laughs> What's this flip business you're talking about? Do a flip. Just do a flip. Is it like doing Impress a barrel? Is it like doing a barrel roll in a you know Star Fox? Do a barrel roll. You guys remember that? Just do something cool. Do something cool. All right. Show us your muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What's that? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I got to give a shout out to Jacob Dez, who is definitely not watching, but he's a great tattoo artist who's a uh, been, uh, I've been collecting a couple of flesh souvenirs, and we have such sights to show you in my grandma's basement. All right, so we are adding this. 
Uh, in terms of some contemporary corpse paint influence, i got to give a big shout-out to Red Rome from Chicago. She's a lovely burlesque artist. Uh, she is also the extraordinaire behind the uh, Satanic Panic burlesque show. How you doing, your mom, Patty? Um, never met a mom that didn't love me. It's the brutal truth, baby. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Red Rum is a, uh, she does, she's a lovely person, and she's got some great horror uh, effects, and also does burlesque, so you can see some uh, fleshly desires. And uh, I, I did take an excellent and very informative uh corpse painting or just overall stage painting workshop with her and a couple things I took away was one paint to the hairline all right you don't want it to end at your hairline we're going for the whole look so that's a little bit depressing for me because as you can see my hairline is rapidly aggressively uh, retreating uh, retreating faster than the uh, next United States Hornator so you know, but it, it goes good, you know, and also not just the hairline, go for the neck, get the neck, you know what I mean? It adds to the larger than life effect when the makeup uh, is more than just your face when it runs through your whole body. Obviously, you can see people like Abath, as he would say, Abath, uh, doing the same thing. So I also try to incorporate that to have the, the whole paint uh, all up and down my arms. You have guys like Die Antichrist, they're kind of dorks, but they paint their fucking, you know, entire bodies. Um, to each their own. Another thing uh, that I took away from Red Rum, and I got to give props to her, is that uh, in her case, she shops uh, with things you can get at uh, uh, CVS stores or drug stores. So uh, if uh, you're ever on the town, you're a show ghoul, you're traveling, you know, doing run around with the circus, uh, and that's a couple things I've done. As a matter of fact, in the Necrosexual Encounter music video, uh, there's a lot of red going on right now. In the Necrosexual Encounter music video, uh, I did that with almost all uh, corpse paint or at least white paint that I got at the uh, drugstore because I was in a pinch. I didn't get a chance to get this stuff, the good stuff. Uh, for me, um, I prefer the water-activated stuff. Now, there's a lot of other uh, powders or different types of materials. This is just what I'm familiar with, and it works good for me because you can kind of roll it on like, a, uh, like an industrial paint. I'm sure it's non-toxic that can get for your skin. And so here we are. So, let's take a look at our progress right for uh, Our eyes are red. We got the lips. We got, uh, we got a lot of red going on. So this is going to be a very uh, bloody look. But hey, that's okay. I kind of like the uh, black metal camo. Because you know I always go commando when I can. Boom. So, what's next? Oh, duh. Black. So we're going to add some black, and then it's going to get really fun. So as you can see, I already added a little bit of a base around the eyes, uh, and then of course the mouth. And now we're going to blacken it. So let's see what we have for my little bag of tricks, shall we? This one, uh, well, you know what? For you guys, since we're, on, we're going on Facebook Live, we're going on Instagram Live, I'm going to get a virgin brush for you guys. All right, so this is a brand new brush. If it totally sucks, uh, you know why. But we're going to see how it holds up and what is the storm. And once again, we're listening to my album, Grim One, available on necrosexual.bandcamp.com. When the album's over, that's how you know I've been talking too much. So, excuse me. Losing our minds one day at a time. All right. So, we're going to add a little bit of that there. All right. Just happy little accidents, baby. Normally, uh, another thing with corpse paint, people ask me, it must take a long time to do your corpse paint. And I say, well, uh, sometimes, uh, but a lot of the time, no, it is not. I've done my corpse paint, uh, I've literally done it in a car without any mirror at all. It turned out pretty good. Um, a long time ago, I kind of gave up with the asymmetrical corpse paint look. Uh, I still go for a little bit of symmetry, but I also like the chaos. And I've learned that uh, as somebody who's not particularly artistically uh, in, inclined, how you doing Mowgli and Dave, um, it helps to just embrace the chaos and just sort of see where it leads me. Like I said, happy little accidents, as inspired by Bob Ross, the grimmest one of them all. It goes a long way, so I'm going to add some around here, just to get a, a little bit around the eyes. And then in terms of being a sugar, ooh, that looks, that looks kind of cool. You see that right there? I got a little bit of red. Uh, poking out from behind the black. Again, happy little accident. So that's why it's kind of fun 
uh, to have a, a strong foundation of whatever you're doing. How you doing, Matt? And uh, from there, we can just sort of uh, explore, explore the playground. Of course, painted fleshly desires as I drink some demon juice. Mm -hmm. It's not a phase I'm going through, Mom. All right? You hear me? Who the hell's Jimmy? Learn to sew. All right. So, next up. Here we go. I got a little bit of... One time I did a show and the person said I look like Jon Stewart with my um, frosty tips from the corpse paint. But I still think it's a good look to incorporate it all over your whole face. So, that's what we're doing. And it's become, as I get older, it becomes even easier because I have lines in my face. So it makes it super easy to just follow those lines and uh, have a grand old time. All right. So we got that. We got a little something. This is also Normally I have a full mirror. I have my little tiny uh, iPhone screen on Instagram and uh, my laptop screen. So it's also a little happy experiment to see uh, how I work. But as I was saying before... I've done uh, my corpse paint. I prefer to have it done before I even leave my lair. Uh, so when I step out of my dungeon of darkest desires, I'll be all ready to go. I'll, I'll end up at a venue, wherever I'm performing, all ready to rock and roll. Um, because if there's one thing I've learned about being a show ghoul, it's that the accommodations normally suck. Um, I've done corpse paints and everywhere from, you know, instead of doing it in a little bathroom where you can't even see the mirror, it's nice to... Just have, uh, you know, the comfort of my own lair. With that said, when I'm in a rush, I can usually do it in about 10 minutes. I'm taking a lot of extra time. Uh, if this was for a show of my own, uh, I would probably be done by now. So, try to keep up. <laughs> How you doing, Loose Cannon, Shannon? Woo! All right. So, what I'd like to do is add a little bit of a uh, little bit of zig and zag. I should probably take a few moments to figure out how I want the eyes to look. Um... What I also like to do is the very important lips. You gotta make the lips look good. Mm. Normally, I like uh, uh, like a, a lipstick, a matte lipstick, or uh, you know, there's some good stuff. Manic Panic makes some good brands. I'm, I'm actually out of them at the moment, so I'm just using this. It doesn't matter. I'm just get it all up in there. Another thing, get your nose. All right, we're going for commitment. So get your goddamn nose. Ah, there we go. I lost my pride a long time ago. No, it's all for corpse entertainment. So here you go. Got a little bit on my teeth. I gotta wash it off my teeth. All right, we're going for uh, some demon juice. That's right. I've upgraded from the Franzia. Franzia and the Necrosexual have parted ways professionally. They, they after, after many, many long hours of. Fighting and clawing tooth and nail to get a Franzi endorsement. They finally gave me the uh, the hell no. So we've had a part of separate ways. I'm doing a lot of uh, champagne and vodka. Or hey, don't drink, don't drink. Hey, your body is your temple. Desecrate it however the hell you want. I don't want to be a bad influence for people. But here we are. If you can hang with the necrosexual, you got my approval. All right, so we're going. Uh, here we go. Then we got a little something here. Something something. Legendary, indeed, uh, as I was saying. So, with my look, I'll try to evolve it over time. Uh, lately, I've been doing this. Just adding a little bit of an accent to my cheeks. Uh, it makes things interesting. There are not a lot of black metal bands that, that have done this particular effect, which is why I've been uh, experimenting with it. There's a lot of parallel thinking, we'll call it parallel thinking, uh, in black metal and heavy metal in general, so I'm trying to evolve uh, my look, my performance, my sound, and of course the course pain. Uh, uh, fuck that up. Happy little accident number two. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just color that right. Oh boy. <laughs> the demon juice is taking its effect. It's uh, taking its hold. We got a little bit of a cleanup. In uh, Isle Necro's uh, cheek over here. That's well, okay. We're just going to roll with it. Uh, it would have been great to perform in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts tonight, but we're here instead, and it's always a pleasure to perform for you guys. If you like my music, uh, it's, of course, at Bandcamp. That's my third necrosexual promotional plug for the evening. Uh, please listen, play it loud, 
let your parents and your neighbors and your family and your friends know that you are a necrosexual pervert and it's not a phase you're going through. All right, here we go. All right, so it's something. How you doing, Instagram? Another corpse-painted pervert. Uh, what a, looking forward to have played with you in the Gallows Instance uh, tomorrow night in Austin, Massachusetts. Austin in Boston, but unfortunately the gods of fate had a separate plan, and it's called the plague, so here we are. But I'm rolling with the punches. A wise man once said, you gotta roll with the punches to get with what's real. And that wise man was Mahatma Gandhi. No, it was David Lee Roth, baby. Van Halen. All right. So this is actually a very good lesson if you're paying attention because I've completely fucked up uh, my cheek. Um, so we're going to find a way to... Uh, to make it work with this whole look, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to that later, and we're gonna do this cheek. All right. So sometimes symmetric stuff like with it, yeah, right. That's actually a good lesson, Daddy Ryan. Um, some little necro cover up is in order, because if you focus on being perfect, it's only gonna make your imperfections more glaringly obvious. So, you gotta just roll with the grit. You gotta embrace all the ugly parts, the whole, the pieces of the serpent, uh, one broken link at a time. But, we'll get back to that later. All right. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, <laughs> so. And this is actually, uh, you know, I thought this would be a great idea doing this tutorial, but it's actually a little bit more difficult and challenging uh, talking and putting on my course pen at, at the same time. So this is a, a learning experience for everyone, I hope. Especially all you necromaniacs at home. While we're doing this, I want to give a shout out to a couple people. Dan Kishbach from Panther Pro Audio. Uh, we've got a great sounding EP in the works at his place. Uh, and if you are a band, or if you're a band outside of the Philadelphia area, um, he does a great job at mixing and mastering, so send him your album. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Don't just take it from me. There have been people like Basilisk, uh, Horrendous, Vector, uh, Die Choking, I believe. They've all been in the studio, so it sounds great. Panther Pro Audio, check it out. And a little bit of, uh, little bit of overflowing blackness. Black is my heart. No, oh, but I fucked that up now. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's the other thing. You can always uh, mess it up a little bit. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, I don't have a show to go to tonight. So if I, if it if it turns out uh, fucked up, it'll be fine. All right. Now it's blood. All right. That's the solution. Fuck up. Just cover with blood. Blah, blah, blah. So we got some happy little accents happening tonight. Um, and they're all totally grim. In true necrosexual fashion, you just got to roll with the punches, baby. There we go. So we got some black running down here. This is... All right, the party's just getting started. <laughs> I feel like I sense people are laughing at me, um, but that's fine. You know what? It's fine because this is corpse entertainment. I'm here to entertain you, which is a sadistic act in itself. Imagine being so desperate for attention, you start a band. Imagine so desperate, you start a ban as a necrosexual for attention, alright? This is the world we're dealing with. And as Elton John once said, it's my life. Alright. Cult wisdom indeed from the grim one. The three of you are getting one hell of a show.
<laughs> a brute tutorial, if I may say so myself. All right. So now what? All right, we got we got most of the mouth done. Uh, we got the red, the underlying base. Not bad. A little bit fucked up here, but it's not bad. I can take it. I can work with that. All right. So lately, mm, uh, I've been going for a little bit of this, and we're going to see how it turns out. I was trying to experiment tonight. I'm going for a look that I've done before, but hey, like I said, happy little accidents. I've learned a couple things about myself and hopefully about you too. Actually, I like this. I like this look. It's a good one. I've done it before. So while we're here, um, let me know about your favorite concert you're looking forward to seeing. They got canceled. How about that? That's. <laughs> Ugh. In the necrosexual's lair, we're putting on the corpse paint, feeling demonic. Oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> and as you can see, I've been doing this mostly with this one little brush. Um, again, I try to mix it up, but sometimes you just stick to the basics. You stick to what you know. Like so many things in life and death. I always say that life is merely the appetizer of death. And here we are. All right. All right. And that's two minutes to the end of the album. So I'd say we're almost about ready for showtime. And uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm okay with this look. It's okay. Usually at this point, I just try to do some line work just to touch it up, add a little bit of character. Add a little bit of texture. Add a little bit of pizzazz. How you doing, reanimated dead flesh? You made it in time for the tail end, but the best is yet to come. So, like I said, with corpse paint, it's always fun. It's a, an ever-expanding forest of necrosexual delights. I uh, I did enjoy this tonight because I came into here uh, not really knowing what look I was going for. Um, the look I ended up applying is one I've done before. <laughs> uh, but, in all seriousness, I love to put my corpse paint on uh, for whatever the occasion is. Uh, and I hope to do this again in the near future, and I probably will, because we are still in my, uh, in quarantine, baby. Is Rammstein still on? That's a great question. I have my tickets, uh, to see Rammstein, the greatest band since David Hasselhoff, and of course, uh, if they cancel, my heart will be broken, but I understand it's all the way in August, um, so we shall see. And I would say to all you perverts watching, if you get the chance to see Rammstein, even, even if you don't like Rammstein, just fucking spend the money, go see them. They set, they set a bunch of shit on fire. It's like uh, Cirque du Soleil with uh, pyrotechnics and new metal. So it's pretty fucking good. Quarantine! All right. All right, so I think I'm going to call it at that. Sometimes another lesson uh, with entertainment and with music is to quit when you're ahead. So when you have a good thing going on, no one to take a step back and behold the work that's been done. So, with that, I am going to uh, have a drink of some necro juice, the blood of my posers, blood of my enemies. And to all you necrosexual maniacs out there, mm, reach out to your enemies, call them wimps and posers. Reach out to your friends, your bandmates, your loved ones, let them know uh, that it's not a phase you're going through and that you're there for them for all their necrosexual heavy metal needs. And uh, for all you watching in the confides of your own necrosexuals lair, uh, how you doing, Kiki? You came by the very end, but I'm happy you made it. I would like to say, uh, it's not a phase I'm going through, and it has been my pleasure to apply your corpse paint. I have been, and still am, and will continue to be, the necrosexual! Oh.
And I will see you in hell. Oh, okay. Bye.